Hey there, it's Jackie Simmerl Tate, and today I am going to do a short video to show you how to create the custom back on your send out cards cards. And so, what we're talking about this is the back of a card, and you can get a little creative. And this is an image that I created, and I'll show you how to do that using a program called Canva. And then, um, this is having the um, actual addresses on there is something that'll autofill depending on what template you use in send out cards. Um, here's one that um, a friend of mine used for, and it spans the entire back of the card. And this was one that she had on the back of her New Year's card. Um, this is one that a friend of mine did and it's got, you know, the, just the little photo with some verbiage here. And then here's an example of another one that I use. Um, that you can see uh, that I do a little bit of writing and then just use a photo. So there's some different ways you can make it super basic. You can make it um, kind of complicated. So let me show you what we've got. So basically the way that you're going to create the back of the card is um, it starts by doing an actual card in and of itself. So let's go in here and Let's see, what I wanna do here is, sorry, moving all the things around so that I'm not distracted. <laughs> all right, so let's just go into a card. It really doesn't matter any card that you wanna do to get to the place where you will customize the back of the card. Um, you're going to just create a card just like you would in send out cards. Uh, I do recommend do, doing this on your actual computer. So if you're a person who uses the app primarily, I think it's just easier to accomplish this using um, your, your computer. But um, so basically, just like you would, you wanna to get to the back of your card. So here's my default, and this is something that I use. You can see um, it's just one image. This is a business card size image that I've just uploaded here, and then I have my little tagline that I've put up here. And I do really like using the one that has the return address and the recipient address uh, on the back that will autofill based on when you send it. The reason I like to do this is most of the times people get a card, they rip open the card and throw the envelope in the garbage, but they're gonna hold on to the card itself. And so if they want to access your um, address, then it'll be on that as the return address. So that's kind of why I like that. But basically you wanna to get to this back of the card here and then see over here on the side, you've got these two little um, icons, you want to choose layout. Now this is going to pop into um, a lot of my existing ones, but if you see down here on the bottom, uh, there's one for create new and that's where we're going to go. Now if you haven't created one yet, it's actually going to default to where you are going to create a new one uh, and it won't have all of these options on there. But one thing that I want you to just kind of look at is there's a ton of different uh, backgrounds that you can save and I mean there's ones even to where like my little tagline maybe I change it a little bit but I'm using the same image and all that good stuff so it's just something to be aware of you can use unlimited back of the cards so let's go ahead and go to create new so when you pop into here create new you'll see all the different templates now if you wanted to use one where you're just gonna span the entire back of a card and have it your image, you can certainly do that, okay? But we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna stay in here and I'll show you maybe a creative way to use that. So this is the background that I used for, um, if you can see, I left myself up here so you can kind of see. This is the same one that I used on the back for this. And so you can upload just a picture here. I kind of like these different ones where you can do a little bit of typing as well as using an image. So the first one that I wanna show you is the most basic and the easiest one that I personally recommend. If you're going to create a back of the card for your business, something that I really like are these ones with the two little squares and then some writing. So I'll show you just a super easy way to create that is um, I could use you know your own personal photo 
um, or a headshot if you have a headshot that you're using for your business, um, what have you. And then here you can do a logo. I'm actually going to show you. Um, let's upload. Not that one. Oh shoot, where did I drop those? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I knew I had them under SOC photos, but they were somewhere else. So if I wanted to upload my logo, now most people have a logo that is, um, you'll have a squared off logo and then you have a, a length wise logo and you can use those in a couple of different ways. Um, so if you have a squared off logo, this is the best way to put that in there. So you've got your headshot and your logo. And then on here, you can type your information and a tagline or what, whatever you want to type on here. So I'm just going to put my um, website and my phone number. But you can do this. You can customize this however you want. And then you would just highlight this. You can choose whatever font you want to over here that makes the most sense for you and your business. Um, I kind of like this one, so let's do that. Make it a little bit larger. I can choose a different color, maybe one that's a little bit closer to my logo. And that's really the easiest one that you can create. So you just use your headshot, your logo, type your information, and you're good to go. Now there's one more step if you want to use this over and over again, it's really tempting to just come over here and hit next, but before you move on, if you want to save this, you're gonna come over here where it says save layout and just click on that. So what's going to happen there is that's going to save into my layouts over here. So now if I choose existing, it will show up down here, okay? Now, let's say I really like this one and I wanna make sure that the back of my card is always going to look like this, then unless I change it, then I would set this as my default so that just in case I forget to create a custom back, if I have it set as default every time I go to make a card, it'll have that custom back and then you would just hit next and you're good to go. But let me show you a couple of different ways. Let's go back here. Let me show you a couple of different ways that you can create some different backgrounds. So we're gonna go over here to layout, create new. And if you look, actually let's look at my, some of my existing ones. If we look at back at this existing one, remember I said this is just a business card layout. Well, what's great about this is if you already have the JPEG image of your business card, you can just pop it in and upload it here. Now, a lot of times you don't have the JPEG image, but you will have a PDF. So if that's the case, you're not gonna be able to upload a PDF, but let me show you a little trick that I use. So I use a program called Canva. Now I do have um, the Pro, the upgraded Pro one, but most of the the stuff that I'm gonna show you today, you actually can just use the free version, so you don't even need to upgrade. So you're gonna come into this, uh, and then you can see there's tons of different options. If you type in card, it'll bring you into a couple of different ones. So I would choose business card here, and when I choose business card, that's gonna bring us into just this blank space. Most of us are not graphic designers by nature, so this is a great way for you to come over here and see all of these different um, things that you can use, and you can really just have a ton of fun getting into here. Now, obviously, this is not the image that I would use, but if you come over here to uploads, you can upload your own image, and so let's say I wanted to use my team image. What I would do is actually just drag and drop it into the background, and then I could type here and just put team 323, which is our real estate group. I can even come in here and change this um, color to one that's um, one of our branded colors. And I can rename it here and just put team 323 background. So you can name it whatever you want. And then I would just simply download it here. I'm not going to obviously download the PDF print because of what I just said, but a PNG or a JPEG, either one of those you can download and that will work for your um, send out cards, the back of that. So this is going to take us here. I'm going to come back over and I'm going to put this into my webinar images so we can find that easier.
So now if I come over here, I've just created that. So if I want to come here, I'm going to click on the um, little icon for the camera. I'm going to upload a photo and then I'm going to pull in the one that I just created and see it's that easy. It pops it right into there. Um, so, oops, hang on a second. That's not what I want to do. All right. So let's go back to layouts. So that's an easy one to do and you can put your tagline here or again, you can put what I would recommend is putting something that has a little bit of contact information. I don't really recommend putting all the contact information and I think that's something that's very tempting, especially for those of us in real estate. We tend to want to give everybody everything. I really do recommend throw a phone number and a website because your website should have um, a way to contact you in all the other ways to connect to your social media and give the email address and a contact form and all that fun stuff. So I kind of am a fan of just let's give them the phone number and the website and call it a day and maybe do, you know, your information here. So that's one of the ways that you can use this layout. But if we go into here and we want to create a new one and use the entire image, one thing I want you to notice is that this bottom right corner is going to have a little, um, a little bit of information. So when you create this, kind of keep that image clear. But what we can do here, and you can see I've already got it up and running, is this five by seven. But let me show you how, how I got there. So again, we have card. And then if you come here, you can see the card is um, seven by five. So if you click on that, that is just your general size card. But the way that Send Out Cards prints these, this is actually going to print, um, so even when it is a horizontal card, when you look at it, it's going to have a, a vertical background. So we really want to make that match here. And so what I'm going to do is come up here where it says resize. And then I'm going to click custom dimensions, excuse me. And then I'm just going to flip this instead of seven by five, I'm going to make it five by seven. Boom, done. So once again, you can get super creative over here. Like you could use something like this and then see where this image is. We're not going to stick with that. We're going to come back over to uploads. Again, you would upload an image just like you would on other ones, but these are these are things that I've already um, I've already used. So let's find one of my images that I might use in terms of like a headshot. Uh Okay, well, let's use, we'll use my team member Leslie's headshot. So see, I could put that in here. I could create all of the information that I wanted to in here, but let's go back and look at some of the different templates. There's some fun ones in here. Let's say you wanted to um, highlight something specific, like if you're in real estate, you could use, um, you know, some house images, things like that. But you can see where you can get super creative. Or if you didn't want any of these templates, we could just do the basic one here. And then I can come back into my photo, oops, I can come back into my uploads and I can pull in an image from, let's see, let's say I wanted to do, well, that one's not going to fit. That's my team logo. So let's say I wanted to be there. Let's say I wanted to instead do um, my real estate by relationship coaching that I do. So whatever it is, I can create this entire back. I would name it and um, download it again. So let's just call this re by re. And we'll download again, not the PDF, PNG or JPEG. Either one is fine. I'm going to download that and once again put that here so we can find it. So now if I come back into my send out cards, when I hit that, I would upload a photo and then upload the one that I just created. And so that's going to, you know, so you can get super creative on that. The sky is literally the limit in terms of what you put on the back of your card. Um, but every time you create one of these layouts, just don't forget to create save layout so that it does remain an option for you. So now if we go back to layouts and choose existing, this one that I created is now in there. So you can get an idea in terms of some different things. Here's one that I created that has just a website that is something um, 
And this is actually from an old company that I was with and I'm no longer with that company. So that's why I don't use that one anymore. But there's some basics. I mean, you can just have it as a basic. If you don't want to have any branding on the back, you don't have to. You can switch that over um, for that one. There's some ones that I have created in the past that if you want to get just specific to um, whoever you're sending it to, sometimes I will do, if I do a create new, I'll do a happy birthday one and I'll use something like this. And then I will put their photo in on the birthday. So we'll just say that's their photo, even though that's obviously my photo. Um, and then right here though, I can do happy and then birthday. So that's something that I use and that's one that I don't necessarily save on over here because it's just a one-off that I'm going to use. So you don't have to create one that you will save for eternity. You can just create one that you're going to use that one time and use that as the back of your card. So let's go back to this and that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions or concerns about how that works, you can give me a call at 602-904-3454 or if you are catching this um, video just as a YouTube search and you're already working with somebody with send out cards, just make sure you get with the person that you're working with, your upline or the person who has um, helped you get started on send out cards and you can contact them and they will also be able to answer all of your questions for that. So hopefully that helps. Again, I am Jackie Simmerall Tate with Send Out Cards and we today just talked about how to create a custom branded back of the card. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.